Hello everybody, it's Good Looking Pete from Second John Sailing. I'm going to do a video tonight uh, about wind. You may have seen uh, the videos for solar power for Lady Ellen. Uh, this is a video about a wind generator. We picked up this wind generator. I'm going to have to strip it down so I can get it onto the table. Uh, we picked this up about a year ago now from Bulk Jumble. I think it cost us £60. Uh, it's an older one, it's not one of the modern ones, but it'll do what we want on Lady Ellen. Uh, I'm going to stop the video now and uh, strip these blades off it and do a strip down of it and the uh, rusty electrical parts with it, which we bought separately, and I'll run you through them all. See you in a minute. At this stage, you may find a little bit of WD when you come in under. Let's give it a few seconds. We'll see how it pulls off then. Would have been nice if you could have seen my face while I was doing this last bit. Right, so I managed to get it off. To remove the uh, bearing, you're going to have to re remove this clip in the middle. That really does spin nice, that. As you can still see it. Right, so I'll move all the stuff on the table and then uh, start the strip down of it. As you can see, we're down to the bare unit now. I've removed the blades. Uh, quite a simple unit, it's probably about uh, 20 years old at least. Uh, fittings onto the pole that you're going to need on the boat. It's got a shaft at one end, probably about 25, 25 28 millimeter. Uh, simple design, two wires, red and a black. Now we are told that you can just connect this straight to a battery and it will work perfectly all right because it's one of the lower models. It's not a massive uh, voltage wattage. So I'm going to strip it down now and show you what's exactly is inside one of these. There's not a lot inside one anyway. Here we go. Six screws on the back to take it apart. I'll take the back apart, see what's in there. Like I said, we bought this on a bolt jumble. Cost us uh, £60. I haven't got around to fitting it yet, but uh, Lady Ellen's out of the water now, so good opportunity to fit it. They do make a 24 volt version of this. Now, this is only the 12 volt, it's the uh, Aerogen, Aero 2 Gen. If anyone wants to look it up, they're thinking of buying one. Don't go spend any silly money, five, five hundred, thousand. I think you probably go up well, quite a lot more than that. Depends what you need. We just need to have the batteries charged every time we go to them. No massive big pull on the batteries. So we get a 42 inch plasma in there. <laughs> Alright, so there's not a lot to see in here anyway. Uh, single phase state of winding around the outside. It sounds a bit grinder. No, I was on the floor then. And it's not actually in the upright position. 
not right position. Well, sounds like it's grinding a little bit. It's going to have to be stripped down. Uh, there's a small plate on the back here. I uh, presume that the brushes are inside there, so I'll whip that off and have a look. So it's only a 12 volt version and it's uh, not massive powered. I think it pushes out to uh, one second. about 40 amps it pushes out. Right, there's the brushes inside here. You can still get all the parts for all these. We'll see if it's still making any grinding noises now without the brushes in. Brushes look, I don't know if you can see it, plenty of, uh, plenty still left on them. Only light scratches on there. Yeah, so it's still making a bit of a grinding noise. It's probably rough somewhere along the line. I'm going to have to strip the rest of it down and see what's uh, happening inside here. There's three very tight screws in the middle here. It'll be interesting to see what, what's behind these. Like another shaft to be pulled off, but we'll see. Uh, this one's supposed to be good for uh, hurricane force. Not that you're going to get hurricane force in uh, Conway, but uh, you never know. Some stage we might have to get the big hammer out. <laughs> Alright, no, it's peaked a minute, not done. Yeah, this this one is not gonna come out. We've gotta get behind here because it seems like the scraping is behind here. So we're gonna have to go for a full strip down. Let me go and find my pliers. Hello everybody again, it's Good Looking Pete from the Second Chance Sailing. This is uh, take two. Uh, I didn't manage to get it finished uh, last night, so I've uh, started again today. The problem we had with uh, the Aero Gen, Aero 2 Gen uh, wind turbine was uh, getting this part on the back that was seemed to make all the grinding noise. I'll show you how I got it out in a minute. Uh, well, we've got some sad news. Uh, we lost, we lost Don today. Uh, so I've em I've emptied his bowl out, <laughs> and I'm going to use it for holding this up. That was my little joke. Right. Uh, the problem last night was uh, the manual said that this was going to be quite easy to get out. Uh, gentle pulling on it. Uh, well, it's uh, it's a magnet. It's a very strong magnet as well. And no matter how much I pulled, it didn't. So what I did was I made a couple of special tools. Basically, you just two bits of uh, computers uh, bent over so I could actually put them inside. 
Yep, as you've seen, the magnet is very strong. Magnet. Uh, so they basically said pull this out. And it, it's, there is some pressure on that. Now we can see now straight away what uh, the grinding was. Uh, I think it wants cleaning. These bits of magnet around. That's a very strong magnet. Let's see how strong it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I should be able to lift it up just by the... So it's a very strong magnet. It wants cleaning up. Uh, I've got the windings on the inside. All that's below the windings, I mean I could strip it further, but this is actually working perfectly alright. Uh, all that's, there's only one, one thing below the winding. Uh, single phase rectifier, which is about just in this corner. There's only two wires coming off, off the windings. Uh, one's going to, uh, well the two are going to brushes. Top one's a positive, bottom one's a negative. That's about it. The only thing that's below this, even if I did strip it, like I say, is a single phase uh, rectifier and there's a thermal switch below it as well. Uh, but there is nothing wrong with this. And it's still a bit grindy there. I may have to strip it a little bit more. No, actually. I can hear it grinding up. But when it's in the right position. No, no I can hear a little bit of grinding, so let's see if we can strip it. Just move my chair up a bit so I can get to it. Uh, six screws, is it? Six or eight? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight screws. So, I don't know what the manual says about, uh, taking this particular part of the winding out. We'll find out. I must invest at some stage I'll leave that for a second. I must invest at some stage with some uh, magnetic screwdrivers. But being stingy, I might get a donation if I'm lucky off Don or Alan. <laughs> this will be the boring part, waiting for these to come out. It's a little bit difficult because I'm looking over the over the camera to get them out. People normally at this stage cut and uh, come back later, but it's it does say in the manual, take care at this uh, stage because things can get hairy and start snapping, especially for, with its age. I don't think a lot of the stuff we've made of plastic that's uh, I'm just looking for the set of players. Uh, we will find a pair. And I'll just whip these screws out. Don't lose the screws. <laughs> I think this is going to come apart quite easy, actually. Like I say, I'm actually working over the camera there, so I can't really see it. Right, let's see what's below here. So I'm going to have to strip the bottom part out just to show you. I don't know where they've hidden the uh, rectifier, but we'll find out. I don't see any rectifier built into any part of this. I'll do the side of it. And they do say when you've got this fitted on the bolt, never stop it while it's spinning. Uh, there's only two ways of stopping it. Uh, one is 
shorten the two wires together, positive and negative, and that will slow it down. Uh, or fit in a double pole switch to do exactly the same. This is a strange one because the actual manual says there's a rectifier in here. I do not see a rectifier. So we're going to have to have a good look at that. Basically when we get it on the boat, I'll show you. When we actually get it on the boat, the manufacturer does say we can just connect the two wires directly into the battery, but we've gone a different route than that. That's not built into it, is it? The other right that, that must have made a different model. Because we went out and we purchased uh, this rectifier to go with it. And this rectifier's got two wires that go up to the other Gen 2. And two wires, two more wires, which go to another expensive piece of kit, which we have to purchase for it. Which is this, which is a dump. So if it's uh, over voltage, these two wires obviously connect onto here. Uh, and if it starts going over voltage, the battery, it will dump any excess power that it's been uh, generated through this and uh, cool it down and get rid of the voltage. This costs about £25 and this part costs about £40. These are about the only two parts but very hard to get hold of for it being an old uh, unit. But you can still get them as you can see, these are brand spanking new. So we just have to see how this goes uh, when we actually get it back on the boat. See you soon.